Well, Paul coming by last weekend, frustrating for supporters and players alike with the outcome. What's been the response in training this week? Um, training's been good. Um, everyone's been really focused and on it and um, wanting to do the job on Saturday. So we learned from it, done analysis and see on areas where we can improve and move on from there, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about yourself. Um, look back about a year ago from now, 23's captain, perhaps wondering where the future was for you. A year on, new contract, playing first team football. How's it gone for you? Yeah, it's going really well because um, in the 23's you learn how to win games. So stepping in to the first team, you already got that same mentality of um, wanting to win the game, so you're focused and you know your job. So it's been it's been good. Still learning, still a lot to learn. I've been enjoying the challenge and just looking forward to every game. But your game as well this season. Now you look at it, I think at times it seems sort of being right on the edge of being competitive, but staying the right side of being disciplined. What would be your own assessment, and who's kind of helped you over the past year? Um, my own assessment would be um, games are hectic. Um, they come thick and fast. So you have to be prepared to play against um, any type of striker. It can be a target man, it can be a runner. So you have to be focused and be able to do both. Um, we've been booked five times, so I had to miss a game for that. But that, that comes with it. Mm. So you need to manage that, your discipline and record, and um, just stay focused. And also as well, I mean, alongside you now, coming into that back line, you've had the remarkable story of Paul Osu and Dan. We were just talking off camera. You guys go back a little bit of a way. Tell us about that. Yeah, I knew Paul Osu. Um, when he joined Brentford, um, he joined Brentford Academy at under 13s and I was in under 14 slash 15s. So I knew him from um, back in the days. And we used to play football together in our area as well since we were kids, um, Sunday league days. And we just went apart as soon as the Brentford Academy shut down. And then seeing him again, um, like I realised, oh yeah, Paul is still around. And then signing his first contract, I was really pleased for him. And to play together alongside them is even more because we can relate. We came from the same area and we grew up together and now we're playing in the same team together. And we're really good mates, car school together. So it's, it's, like, it's pretty good. Like, I believe in him and I think he's going to go a long way. But he needs to keep his head down and keep focusing. But it's a, it's a good guy, it's a good lad, yeah. And people are noticing his form. I mean, it's been remarkable in terms of the progress that he's made. What have you made of it this season? Yeah, I keep, I keep telling him because we spend the whole car journey together, pretty much together, so I keep telling him to keep his head down. Um, we need to take every game step by step and not let anyone put anything in his ears. Um, I'm really impressed by how he took it on because he just turned 19 and for an 18-year-old to be playing that good, like I'm really pleased for him. So I'm just trying to keep his head down and trying to give him the best advice as I can along as learning for myself as well. So... He's doing well, yeah. And his athleticism as well. I mean, I know Scott Wagstaff is in. People hate coming up against him in training, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, his acceleration is so good. Like, I, sometimes we do six sprints and I try to challenge him. I can probably keep up for about three races. Then after that, he's just he's gone. Like, his top speed is always up there every time in the stats. So, his acceleration and he's got good feet. So, he's a good player. Doncaster this weekend, two meetings we've already had in the cup. You've played in both those games. Um, what did you make of them? Are we in for a different kind of game because it's a league game? Um, I think it is a different kind of game because it's a league game. Um, whereas a, a cup game, um, it's more tactical. Whereas a league game, you have to go for, for it straight away. So, and in my point of view, we should have won like the games we've played them. But so this is another opportunity to set matters right, and we're at home. We've got the crowd behind us, so I believe we can get a result. Yeah. And as a defender, I mean, I suppose the main threat is there's their real sort of talisman striker who's been with them for a long time, James Coppinger, I suppose. It's key to how you kind of stop him playing. Yeah, we've been doing some work. Um, Gaff has been doing some work with defenders and the midfielders. Um, we've got a game plan, so we're going to go with that and hopefully get a result. One other thing we've got to talk about as well before we wrap up, FA Youth Cup next week. Um, I remember interviewing you at St James's Park. We just beat yeah. Newcastle United. Next week, the under-18s have got to go to Bramall Lane, Sheffield United. Um, tremendous opportunity for them, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's, this is great. Um, it's a great game to go to, to watch. And for the players, for themselves, it's a great game. Youth Cup is all you've been looking forward to as a youth team player. So um, if we could support them, that will be good because they need the support. And when you've got people behind you, um, it gives you that little bit extra. And you can go to 
for another step so you can go to the next round and play Fulham at home, which would be a good game for everyone to watch as we got against Chelsea back in the youth car. Absolutely, that'd be a possibility. But I mean, for yourself as well, I mean, of course, having been a part of that squad that won at Vicarage Road, that won at St James's Park, what advice can you give them going into that time? Um, we was brave and we pressed. So our mentality was to not fear anyone. So my advice would be to be fearless, um, brave, and try things and you will get a result. Whereas if you stay in your shell, you'll live through regrets. So I say you go for it, go for it rather than hold back. So that would be my advice, yeah, to go for it. Good advice, Paul. Good catching up with you. Cheers.